Well, we think it's important that we also look into uh, encouraging uh, our citizens to, to go into uh, entrepreneurship because what has happened over the past eight years has been very scandalous, particularly from the ruling party. Uh, but we think as a UPND we must uh, cushion uh, the issues of unemployment by creating business environments uh, that uh, the masses of our people could venture in. And by business environments, we just don't mean them creating uh, these uh, small enterprises such as uh, the booth that uh, uh, the young people that come from school get into. We want them to enter into businesses that can thrive, that can have an income that uh, these young people can be able to feed their families on. And we think as a UPND and as outlined in our manifesto, and that is why we are very categorical from the start that people must read the UPND manifesto because it outlined, even in 2016, we had what we are calling the 20, uh, the 10 point plan when we went into the election and it outlines there because we don't want people we didn't we did not want people to make the same mistake they made in the previous election where they were voting for individuals on the basis that they are humble we wanted them to vote for us on the basis that we've got better economic policies we've got better uh, social plans and we can be able to uh, turn around this economy and let it stand on its own two feet and we think we can do that so in terms of youth-led economic initiatives do you think zambian youths have enough role models like is there anyone you can think of that has laid the path and, and then... Well, there are young Zambians that have gone to do great things and uh, we think uh, the young people should be able to look up to those young Zambians. We saw instances like uh, 